Welcome back, boys and girls. This is Chapter 8 of Big Nate in a Class by Himself. It smells like egg salad. There aren't enough tables, and the walls are the color of cat puke. But after the morning I just had, I've never been so happy to walk into the cafeteria. Oh, sorry. Cafetorium. What a stupid word. I can't believe Mr. Rosa gave you detention, Teddy says. That's the first one he's handed out all year. You're a celebrity. Great. Oh, shoot. Chester took our table, Freddie says. He's right. Chester Singh, or I always said, looking like the picture of Java Man in our science textbook. Well, I snicker. Let's just ask him nicely to move. <laughs> right. We all know you don't ask Chester, Chester for favors. Not unless you want to lose a few teeth. The kid once beat up his anger management counselor. Finding somewhere else to sit could be sort of a challenge. Well, let's check out a few of our options. Uh, there's a jock table. A great place to eat lunch if you enjoy getting punched in the arm and or noogied. You gotta finish those chips. Hello, ladies. Fort Knox. You can try it again, but you have no chance. Get lost. Middle Earth. Bizarre world occupied by strange and frightening creatures. Wanna play Elf Quest trivia? Huh? We decide to sit with our good friend Todd. Todd, my man. My name's Chad. Oops, sorry, dude. Mental note. Chubby kid with red hair. And Freckles is Chad, not Todd. What are you reading, Francis asked. The complete book of world records, Chad says. My ears prick up. World records. Hmm. Guys, I'm getting another one of my brilliant ideas. What do you mean, another one? Francis jokes. I ignore him. Pull the fortune out of my pocket. This doesn't say you also... Class surpass your classmates at PS38, I declare. It says you will surpass all others. If I set a world record, I'll sur surpass everybody on Earth. I start flipping through Chad's book. There's got to be some record I could break. I just need to find out the right one. The longest fingernails, nah. Most tattoos, don't think so. Is there a record for Goofy's hair? Asked Teddy. Ah, shut up, I say. Aha, here we go. Speed eating. Speed eating, says Francis, looking skeptical. Look, there's a guy who eats 60 hot dogs in 10 minutes. And this guy ate 45 slices of pizza in 10 minutes. But we don't have 45 slices of pizza. Thank you, Captain Obvious. So what can I use to set a speed eating, re speed eating record? A rack in our brains. I notice some kid about to, kids about to dump their trays. Wait, hold it. Can't hear what Francis is saying, but a few seconds later, he's back at our table with green beans. Green beans? We have plenty of green beans, Francis says. Right, says Teddy, catching up, because nobody ever eats their green beans. Suddenly, Francis and Teddy are zooming all over the lunchroom, asking everybody, can I have your green beans? You can eat those green beans. Before I know it, a pile of green beans the size of Mount Everest is sitting on the table. 148 servings. Ugh. Wait, those are nasty ice things. They look slimy. Perfect, says Francis. I'll slide right down. I'm not hungry right now, I protest weakly. Let's do this tomorrow. Nope. Your fortune says you will surpass all others today. 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 World's record thing is beginning to seem a lot less cool. How did I get myself into this mess? The crowd is beginning to gather. Francis sets his stopwatch. I guess there's no turn back now. Ready, set, go. I grab a fistful of beans and jam them into my mouth. Cold bean juice dribbles down my cheek as I chew once, twice, then swallow. They taste disgusting. They do kind of slide right down. I shovel in another mouthful. Another, and another. 52, 53, 54. One minute down, nine to go. One minute? Only we'll for one minute? Uh, it doesn't feel so great. Eat, eat, eat. The crowd is urging me on, but it's not working. My throat's all gaggy, I feel dizzy. Pieces of half-chewed beans are flying everywhere. Forget the world record. I'm hoping I'll throw up in front of half the school. Eight! Uh-oh, I know that voice. Red alert! Pistol knuckles. Danger, danger! Feels all nice and friendly when I ran into him earlier today, but he's not looking friendly now. My stomach does a triple somersault. What on earth are you doing? Uh -huh. I start to talk with this Wad of beans in my mouth is cramped my style. I try to swallow it down, but I almost choke. It's just too big. 
Well, there's only one thing to do. I need to go to the table and try to be as colorful as I can. I spit out the beans. Mm. Okay, relax, people. It's not that gross. A pile of chewed up green beans looks about the same as a pile of unchewed up green beans. Principal Nichols looks a little green himself. I'm just there having lunch, I say. Lunch, he repeats. With the entire sixth grade chair you want? Mm, uh, I'm a very exciting eater. Well, I'm declaring lunch officially over, Principal Nichols, Nichols growls. He looks at the green beans scattered all over the table and floor. Clean up this mess. He starts to the door, and in that half a second, I see exactly what's about to happen. It seems like it's in slow motion, but I can't do anything to stop it. Principal Nichols' foot lands in a puddle of slimy bean juice and zip! Bam! For a minute, I can't tell if he's dead or alive. Come with me to my office. No! Well, lucky me, he's alive. Now I really don't feel so good. 